Howdy folks, and welcome back once more to Let's Play Might and Magic 3, Rove's having a nap edition apparently, we're just gonna go ahead and sleep. Uh, I had it pointed out that this Fittisman of Misfortune, like, it is a bad item. It is cursed. However, apparently there is something in the game you can use it for to actually get some goodies for having it. I actually looked it up, and there's apparently a hut in the swamp that if you don't have this, like the hut collapses on your party or something, but if you do have it, you get goodies instead. Uh, I'm going to discard it because if it had not been mentioned to me that you can use it for something good, I would have never thought to look it up and I would have just discarded it anyways, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Uh, so we have a couple sacred skulls, I want to go turn those in just to kind of clear up some inventory space on Rove here. Uh, but generally speaking, what the Fizzman does is, like, you'll enter something, and instead of, like, say, being able to, like, loot a hut or something, instead something bad will happen. I came back here for a reason. I was just talking about the reason. I don't remember what the reason was. We want to get rid of the Sacred Skulls. Holy shit. That's what I get for recording after work. My brain is just gone. Alright, so a couple thousand gold. We're running around with 14 grand on us. Let's go ahead and dump some of that. I don't suppose anybody's ready to level. I would, well, eh, probably not. We'll just drop 10,000 of it and let's see, deposit, gems, 225, there. So we're sitting at 100,000 gold. Now would be the time if I wanted to do some odd jobs. How old is everybody? Uh, we are 20. I can't ever remember how many years there are, or how many weeks there are in a year. I think it's like 15. It's not a lot. Okay. Everybody's 21, now we're all of legal drinking age. Let's see how much money we made. Yeah, look at that, we just made like 10,000. And we do get, we do get interest on gems. That was the secondary reason I did that, to see if we did. Oh, that is so cheesy. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Later in the game, Implosion spells with wild abandon. A sparkling water flows through the fountain of moonbeam, fabled nymph of the enchanted meadow. Toss in a coin? Sure. Take the twisting horn of gold to the central meadow. Find the unique steed of old and relieve its, relieve its dying sorrow. So these are just quest hints. We don't care about any of those. We're heroes, damn it. Is anybody... Anybody ready? Uh... Oh! Devon... Okay, so some of the back row is maybe ninth level? Ninth level might be high enough for a new level of spells, I don't know. We'll see. Regardless, we have more caves and stuff to explore, which is probably what we're going to be getting up to. Uh, I almost said tonight, but in this episode. Uh, let's see, where is it? There we are. I am curious to see whether or not this is going to equate to new spells. If it doesn't, we might need to get to the next town, which... I don't know off the top of my head where it is relative to here. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. You guys got any new spells for me? Maybe like, fucking Day of Protection? No? Fucking. Oh. Why would you make any spells not just party buffs? Holy shit. Give me food. I love the tavern music in this game, by the way. It's so chill. It's just wonderful. Alright. Uh, we will rest until day. We will wizard eye. We will save. Let's get the fuck out of town. Coin shimmer. Yeah, we'll throw a coin. I think we already did this. Yeah, I was gonna say. Sometimes you get lucky, and I don't know what it does, but it says you're lucky. Alright. So we were down here getting eaten by spiders earlier. Here's a cave. Let's, as I say, let's get into the water and see if there's anything. I think, I think that ship will take us somewhere. Uh, important. Oh, what is that? A mantis. Uh, I'm mostly curious about what this well is, if I'm being honest. Here. Come over here, you shits. That's right, stay there. A rope descends into the depths of the well, creaking as it sways in the wind. Creaking? Ugh, creaking. Drink from the well? Sure. Your resistance to poison is enhanced. Alright. 
Okay, so now that they're right there, I'm going to nail them with a fucking fireball. As it... Are you poisoned? So help me Christ. Your poison resistance is increased, but it's still useless. Uh... Okay, so these things actually... Yeah, these, these guys don't appear to be that bad. They just have a lot of attacks. And they poison Devon because he sucks. Hello, spiders. You may also be gone. Oh, Devon's sleeping. Wow. Fucking rove in the back. That face. Another well. Uh, swell. Oh, just some poison damage. Thanks, game. Appreciate that. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and power cure Devon. Oh my god. Uh, let's power cure Devon, and by Devon I mean we're going to power cure Goldly. Thankfully, thankfully, the party is, uh, the front row is beefy enough that they can actually just kill these things. I was gonna fireball them, but at this point we might as well just melee them down. Again, they're dropping gems. It seems like gems are substantially more numerous in this than they were in uh, Zine, which I'm not complaining about. Uh, just kill it. There we go. It's like we take a step and then there's monsters, and then we take a step and then there's monsters, and Rove goes to Sleepy Town. Okay, there's again something in the mountains over there. What is this? False stench uh, from the cavern's mouth. No. I was hoping that there would be a town over there, and there may well be. Uh, oh, these are just oh no bugs. We've been killing these since like episode two. And there's a castle over there. I think that's the the neutral castle, if I recall correctly. I'm I'm beginning to feel that I should perhaps spit forth the cash to buy. You guys just not like. These guys just don't stack, apparently. Ah, oh, Devon died. Back to town. Wussin' out. Gotta res the fail boats. Got this freaking pyramid. We we do not I don't think we're ready for the pyramids. To my recollection, the pyramids are like endgame stuff. We'd probably go in there and immediately get like disintegrated or something. Ah, uh, oh wow, whole back half of the party just corked off. Nice. Fuckers costing me money! Ah! God damn it. I'm about to go and withdraw some of my my fortune here. Alright, so we're gonna withdraw. I guess I'll just pull out 16,000. Nah, we'll do 11,000. I'm gonna grab us um, mountaineering. Now, you two jackasses don't die from the poison before I get to the temple. There would be salt. And we'll even heal Swell, because I'm just such a, a nice guy. Alright, Sea Dog. Oh, let's see, I believe they were back here. Yes. Alright, this is going to be Brunhilda's Jam and Swell's Jam, because they're the party's muscle wizards. But now... Uh, let's actually go back. And we'll start exploring out of Fountainhead instead. Just probably a better idea. I like how I started this saying, oh yes, we're going to be dungeon diving, and it has very quickly turned into, no, fuck that, we're going to explore the overworld and get eaten by bugs. Fun times. Ah, uh, we will wizard eye. Okay, so yeah, now we can go over mountains. How convenient. I think... I think this is where all of the, um, the funguses were. There's another cave there that we can poke around in. I'm sure that there's, I was gonna say, I'm sure that there's stuff hidden in these mountain passes. 5,000 gold, alright. Bunch of loot, probably all garbage. No! Amber boots, a lapis ring, a jewel of water walking, that is a great item. And a jewel of antidotes, sweet! So a couple good things out of that, and some lapis gear, which is better than the dumpster fires that we're currently running around with. Be gone, bug. This is like a nest. No. 
Magical quickening. You guys, we just we just experienced the quickening. The quickening! I gotta watch Highlander again. The first one was pretty good. Covered with hives made of dried mud. Destroy the ape area? Yep. Amount of dried mud chips that was once home of Ono bugs litters the base of the fountain. 25,000 XP. That may have gained, like, a level somewhere. Alright, here we go. You come across a small alcove carved into the side of the mountain. Search it. Yes. 25,000 gold. Holy shit, game. Your lack of self-control is nothing short of astonishing. Skills is of... Oh, is that temporary levels? Yes! Fuck yeah, fountain of 20 levels. Oh, you guys. So, now what we'll want to do is drop... Aloyd's beacon here, set it, and this would be great if I had, like, an archer in the party, because I could do two Lloyd's beacons, we could come here and buff, but, like, our party, hit points notwithstanding, our party is going to just be, like, fucking roving killing machines. A menacing air surrounds the dark hut. Search inside? Yeah. Many years ago, Grey when the Illusionist and Black when the Spellbinder shared control over most of the Isles. Though their castles were held near each were so near each other, each held great respect for the other's magic. But events turned dark when they discovered that they both wed to Anathema, a mermaid, who tricked them both into marrying her. They set out to destroy each other with magic, powerful enough to make the ancient shudder, but they cast their spells at the same time. Both were eternally trapped in their keeps, unable to work the counter magic that would free them. It is said there are thrones in both castle ruins that work powerful magic, but only on each of the mages' wedding days. So that's... Uh, I, I, uh, do I want to... No, I'm not going to spoil it. That's a thing later. The door is locked and we don't have the key. Alright. Fuck keys. We got 20 levels. Get a glimpse of something in the trees. A party found cure poison. Uh, here you go. Gold leaf. I think currently all we've got is, like, delay poison. I would say our front row is probably going to be fine. Back row is having a bad time of things. Another menacing hut. Tribal colors and tapestries stolen from Castle Blood Rain adorn the walls of the Simple Hut. Castle Blood Rain, I believe, is the castle of the neutral... Eh, maybe neutral? Might be evil. A chaotic or evil. Appears to be used as a council meeting hall for ogres. Burn it down. Crackling fire warms the countryside as a small hut is devoured in flames. I like... Just by doing that, we have earned... Like, 50,000 experience in the span of, like, three minutes here. After a steep climb, a homely shack of twigs and branches stands unthreatening before you. Enter? Sure. Giltar the Wise. The center of the Moo cult lies in the Cathedral of Carnage, where the priests and clerics guard two ultimate power orbs. They were captured from the Vampire King when he attempted to expand his reign from the Swamplands. He was driven back chiefly by the undead warriors of the priests of Moo. Alright. So, clerics of Moo... Apparently, powerful necromancers. Fuck off, sprites. Another menacing hut. Rainbow-colored scales fall from the wings of sprites. They reflect lurid tints from the less-than-ample lighting in the hut. Straw pallets scattered on the floor indicate a bunkhouse. Destroy it? Sure. Hut is reduced to a pile of timber, good for nothing more than kindling. 10,000 XP. We're doing that hero thing where we go around and just smash up everything's living places because fuck them, they're not us. Menacing air, a giant scarab carved with solid marble fills the center of the room. The dried blood of the sacrifice cakes the base of the altar. Pray at the insect shrine? Sure. You need to donate at all temples. Well, we don't have access to all temples, so we can't do that quite yet. Uh, I think that's locked. We've already cleared that one as much as we can. That's the Scarab. I've, I seem to recall Whirlpools being a source of trouble, if you're not careful. Alright, and I think, like, my party's all weak and stuff, so we're gonna get another Cursed. Well, let's come... Ah, oh, this is not the Temple. God damn it. I always think that that's the Temple, and it's the end. The Temple's up here. Jesus. Alright. So... We will... Actually, I don't want to heal. I want to uncurse everybody, though. Okay, and then we can just sleep. So we're going to sleep, we're going to return to our beacon. Uh, there we go, drink from the mountain, and wizard eye. Okay. That is like super, super convenient, we're going to be able to cheese so much shit. Although it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass because we don't have a second character to like teleport us to dungeons and stuff. Because of course, Devon is useless. We're gonna 
have to kind of, it's gonna be like we're exploring what we have access to. Once we have like Town Portal, it'll be a little bit easier. But we don't have Town Portal yet. What is this? On the highest peak of the mountain sits a small, simple shack. Enter, yes. A gold key card. Resting in a crimson pillow within a case of glass sits a gold key card with an engraved pyramid. Break the glass. Probably a bad idea. So no. I'm gonna save first. And now we're gonna break the glass. Uh, go on, Brunilda. You're not strong enough. We might be able to break it if we have that that shrine that gives us like 50 might or whatever. Look at that, 450 hit points. She's gonna be such a beefy lass, given a handful of levels. Okay, so is this? Uh, yep, Castle Blood Rain. All right, I believe that, like I said, is the neutral temple. And like with as powerful as our melees are right now, I'm just gonna let Rove have a nap. Tumult Domain, yeah, that's the, the, the Chaos Keep. It's, it's good neutrality and, and evil, but I think Chaos is probably more... Wildabar to the... Ooh, Wildabar is the next town. Shit. Oh, we just gotta get there. I can see it on the map! No fishing. Alright, new town! Fuck yeah! We still have our... Oh shit, ninjas! Come on, game! Play to your audience here. Let's heal Rove. Kill this guy. I didn't mean to shoot those, I was actually going to nail them with death magic, but apparently unnecessary. What time is it? It is 11 o'clock. Oh man. We are going to just go ape on this town. So the downside is that you can see her power cure costs 58 spell points because it's scaled up, but we don't have the mana for it. So we're going to have to kind of depend on some babby heals here from Devon, I think. All right. Let's poke around the round table, on the armory. Seriously, you guys? You guys, your strength is so bad. Mad dwarves. Well, now they're dead. Anybody else? We're third level! I'm trivializing this whole fucking town! What do we got here? Brother Oh, it's Brother Gamma. Greetings! I have been expecting you, but I fear I may be of little service. Better told me of your progress, and I can add that the name of the place where the shells are hidden is Rainbow Island, but nothing more. Maybe my other brother Delta can lead you to the island shores. I will send him word of your coming. Gamma bends down and whispers into the pink ear of a barrel mouse. A little gray mouse then disappears into a crack in the wall. Because of a slight misunderstanding with a local ninja clan, he lies in hiding in the cavern below this town. Finding him, find him, and he may be of more help. Now take this trinket and search for my brother. Another qu these friggin' Quatlu coins. What's up, ninjas? What the fuck? Fucking Jesus Christ. AI in the background getting uppity. I would love to throw, like, some death magic. But we essentially have enough mana to do it once. Um. We could do energy blast. I guess we're just. Rove's probably gonna end up sleeping this fight out, if I had to guess. Because we're all gonna one shot. Oh, yeah, there's the, the monk in back. I think that's those are sonic monks, if I recall correctly. I think they might be mildly dangerous. Uh, all right. I'm gonna waste. I'm gonna waste some mana. We're gonna lightning bolt a group of these guys. Yeah, Sonic Ninja. Oof. They're so dangerous, and we just one shot the fucking things. All right, we're gonna save because these guys have a lot of attacks, and <laughs> I love it. Brunhilde's in the red, and she's still got 85 hit points, and Chunk has 60. Well, I suppose with their new hit point totals, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, here. Just have Swell kind of top himself up a little bit there. I would say just in case there's more of them back here, but it doesn't appear that there are. See what's inside the bag. A party, a, a cure poison. Ah, uh, sure. Here you go. Devon can't understand it. Swell? Swell can understand it. And some gold. Cure disease. Oh, I would love to give that to Goldleaf. Instead, it's going to Swell, though, because she's sleeping. 5,000 gold, sure. 3,000 gold. Some gold and some gems. Okay, not too bad. Now what is... These dwarves just look goofy. Like, that is... Why is their other arm so much 
like redder and that oh god that animation is so bad i mean that was kind of a thing in ooh walk on water there you go devon uh, that was kind of a thing in zine as well where some of the sprites just looked really bad compared to others we're we're going to have to do inventory management at some point i think all right some more gold some more gold Nature's Cure, we've already got that, and I don't think Swell can learn it, no. Alright, well, Devon got it again and a little bit more gold. How are we looking? Fucking 50,000 gold pieces, sure. Why not? What is this? Showman's Magicarium. Many powerful incantations you'll find at the Falcon's Guild. Very useful they can be. You need a membership? Only 1,000 you pay. Sorry, Yoda. We don't need your- I mean, we want your membership, yes, but people are unconscious. Place 3,000 gold on the north pointer of my enchanted compass and a navigator you will become. Pay? I think we need that. So yeah, here you go, Chunk. Battle training. Oh, this is like arms master. Master of arms and bodybuilding. Okay, so theoretically... <sighs> Seriously, Chunk, are you gonna be the one that dies? God damn it. I was hoping that we could just. Oh! Tell the King Chaotic seeks ultimate power orbs. Considerable compensation will be given. Don't care. Get out of my way, I need the temple! Bloodroot. Okay. We'll just top everybody off. We're all still like a millionth level. What time is it? 2.50 a.m. Oh, let's see, the gatehouse. No. Oh, that probably... Yeah, that just reset all of our levels. Shit. All right, well, I guess in that case... Uh, we can come back here. Yes, 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 and yes. Alright, we don't care about you, and for this, Armus Master, yeah, this is going to be basically the front row, and this is going to be everybody. Bodybuilding is just extra hit points, so Rove's going to have gone from 8 to... still 8? Really? Really? I love it! Bodybuilder can't help Rove, it helps everybody else, Brunhilda picked up 10 extra hit points. I don't, I don't know what the math is behind bodybuilding, but shit. Oh, that's funny. It'll probably be worthwhile later on once we can start, like, shoring up his, um, endurance and stuff. Is there anything else? I guess not. Let's see, where's the guild? Not the round table. We were told it's the Falcon's Guild, I believe. Oh, god damn it! of course, the fucking day rolls over. You know what? I can't even cast a lightning bolt. Rove, I'm so disappointed in you. Kill the damn ninja. Here's the guild. Sleep until night. Let's see what kind of new magical death we can throw here. Uh, acid spray? Sure. Heroism? Yes! This is, um, this gives you levels when you cast it. So it will be an alternative to the fountain for when I don't want to run to the fountain. Uh, glaciates all before you, sure. And we'll take cure disease as well. Rove! Power shield, yes, this is a party armor buff. Well, actually, I think it's single target, because we don't have... Uh, it would be Day of Protection. Uh, Devon... Nature's Gate. Depending on the day of the week, it calls forth a portal to the towns and castles of Terra. Sure. That's a good... That's gonna be basically a get-out-of-jail card. Uh... No small amount of distress, sure. And swell. Uh, we'll get you bless and heroism. Ideally, in the long term, we'll be using swell for buffs. Like, uh, in his case, it'll be like day of protect or not day of protection. No, maybe it is. Is it hour of power? I can never remember which one sorcerers get and which one. Uh, clerics get. And we haven't found 
the, the damn town's code yet. Uh, neutral artifacts, yeah. So we need to do the, the high action gameplay of like looking at all of the walls in the entire town. I don't imagine it'll be in front of one of the shops. You never know. Not in here, is it? No. Here, let me get uh, Wizard Eye cooking again, so folks can see where we're going. I know it can be disorienting in these games. Ah, here we go. Since the days the ways of magic began, was this portal known as Free Man? All right, so we're the Freeman. We're gonna be fucking fighting against Vortigaunts. Just give it like ten episodes. All right, so we have the tunnels under town to do, I suppose. So let me think. We'll be able to trivialize this, because I'll be able to... We can go to the portal, get our levels, use the mirror in uh, Fountainhead to get back here, and then we'll be able to just go into the tunnels and run roughshod over everything. But we are at 26 minutes, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Well, we also have probably leveling to do, but again, that can wait, I think. Uh, so until next time, take it easy, and I will catch you all around.